The following is a presentation of Stetson University College of Law. My name is Judy Scully and I'm a professor at Stetson University College of Law and I'm also co-coordinator of the Social Justice Advocacy Program. The Social Justice Advocacy Program focuses on issues related to equality in society and it also focuses on issues related to human rights, civil rights, criminal defense. It is a broad spectrum of issues that can touch on issues related to homelessness, related to immigration, related to human trafficking, related to public education and public policy that affects children. It can even focus on issues related to how corporate policies impact individual human communities and human rights. And so we have a broad spectrum of students who we try to encourage to join the social justice advocacy program so that they can develop their own individual expertise. And I'm joined here today to talk about the social justice advocacy program with my colleague, Bob Bickle. When Professor Scully and I founded the program in 2012, our goal was to allow law students who come to law school focused on their concern to be a social justice advocate and who also already have a career focus in mind. Natasha, could you introduce yourself and talk about what drew you to the program? My name is Natasha Vasquez and I'm a 3L at Stetson University. You know, when I came to law school, I knew that I wanted to make a difference. From a very young age, I had participated in a ton of community service. And even as a young girl, I understood the importance of what I was doing. I understood that I owed it to my community to enrich it and to cultivate it and to protect it. So the social justice advocacy concentration was just a natural fit for me because of the fact that it helps you take your education and use it as a tool to protect and fight for justice in marginalized communities. And Jason, you're also a member of the social justice advocacy program concentration right now. And can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about why you chose to be part of the social justice program? Sure, uh, my name is Jason Churn. Uh, I am a third year student. And uh, I would say that a main reason was that I came to law school with an area of focus based off my undergraduate studies. And I owe that a lot to my undergrad professors, uh, but I had a focus on criminal law and drug policy, federal drug policy in general. And the SJA concentration allowed me to only enhance that focus and then take off on my own independent research. Natasha, back to your entry into the program. Um, what did the program give you initially uh, that you feel is unique uh, mm -hmm. in your law school experience? One of the unique things about the program is the mentorship aspect of it. You get a faculty mentor and that individual works with you from the beginning to the end of the program. They help you grow, they teach you, and just being able to ask questions from someone that has that experience and is so seasoned in the field of social justice advocacy is tremendous and it makes this program really unique and helpful for students. And you've actually chosen two areas yes. of focus. Yes. Uh, you really illustrate the breadth of the program mm -hmm. and how that is connected to the focus of the program. Mm -hmm. Could you say a word about the two areas of concentration within the program that you've chosen to, uh, to make the subject of your studies? Absolutely. Um, my long-term goal is to eventually lobby for immigration and education reform. And I think that in order to change the system, you have to be a part of the system. So m the majority of my projects are focused on the education aspect and immigration reform. And Jason, you are also working on a project, or are you doing something different than a project? Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm okay. doing what's called an independent research paper. Um, and it's your scholarly paper that can count as a seminar paper if you meet all the requirements. Um, and that allows you the freedom to pick really anything that you want to write about. And for the concentration, uh, I had a big interest in the federal drug policy and how that affected uh, our social, economic, and political areas of our, of our national security. And uh, it allowed me to go into that uh, very deeply. And my mentorship with Professor Nagel, who was very, very um, helpful and guiding me to my, my research was uh, probably one of the better things of the concentration. Yeah, Stetson has a reputation for being number one in trial advocacy mm -hmm. and the social justice advocacy program is housed in the 
Center for Excellence for Advocacy. And our philosophy is that we want our students to use their advocacy skills not just in the courtroom, but outside of the courtroom mm -hmm. as well. So many of the social justice advocacy students are working with not-for-profit organizations. They're um, also, like Natasha, interested in eventually lobbying legislatures. And um, there are many students who are also interested in non-governmental organizations that have agencies on an international level. And so we ask the students really to define their interest and to determine how they're going to use their advocacy skills. Um, Natasha, I know that you are proposing to work on a video, a short video That's about correct human trafficking. That is correct. And can you talk a little bit about that? And interestingly enough, before I get into that, is the fact that the concentration really uh, encourages students within it to collaborate with other students in the concentration. So I am working with Sergio Fernandez, he's an individual in the program, on creating a documentary that can be used by a local organization, a local human trafficking organization. Essentially, it'll be used as an educational tool. Both of you have emphasized that a strength of the program has been the commitment of our colleagues on the faculty yes. that Professor Scully and I are not limited to the guidance that we can give you. Um, how would you characterize the program's unique ability to place you under the guidance of a member of the faculty that has particular expertise? Uh, the social justice advocacy concentration allowed me to work with Professor Luz Nagel, who is a bona fide expert in national security law, drug policy, and foreign relations. And uh, under her tutelage, I was able to find my own path and, and really delve more deeply into the federal drug policy here and how that affects us at large. And we're very fortunate at Stetson Law School because we have so many professors who have volunteered to be mentors in the social justice advocacy program. Right now we have over 20 faculty members, but we also have at our disposal several alumni who um, volunteer as well to help our students develop their advocacy skills both inside and outside of the courtroom. One of the other strengths of the program to me as a faculty member is that we not only allow our small cohort of concentration students to pursue their particular areas of study and preparation for practice, but we allow them to be ambassadors to the campus community in general. And Judy, I think our programming uh, helps that and that our students help with that aspect of yes, the program. Yes, absolutely. This is a concentration program, so we've been focused mainly on what our students in the program do. But our program also has much um, greater ideals, which is to really help change the culture of the law school as well, to recognize the significance of pro bono work, public interest work, um, and to also encourage our students to use their law degrees in the same way that the students in the program are using them to really help influence issues related to equality and to make sure that our law degrees aren't just used for personal self-interest but are used to better society. And so we try to not just focus on the students in our program who are going to receive the concentration certificate, but we focus on the entire student body as well. So we have programming that we do each semester that brings issues of social justice to the entire student body as well. Natasha, has that been a rewarding part of being a social justice advocate concentration program student? Because that's really where we're asking you to go above and beyond your own aspirations and serve your peers throughout the law school community. Yeah, it has absolutely been a rewarding experience and it's very exciting some of the programming that we bring to the Stetson community. Um, we recently did a do good workshop where an individual came and spoke to the entire Stetson community and I think what's awesome about that is that a lot of individuals come into law school and they want to do good but they don't exactly know how to do good. So having programming like this on campus allows students to learn more about different areas and how they can do good, and then hone in on those areas, select one, and really uh, change the community. And Jason, we did that first program on the issue of child advocacy. Our second program this fall in two weeks will be on poverty. Uh, do you think that's having an impact on your peers in general? I know it has an impact on me, um, and it's nothing that I'm going to be doing explicitly in my future career path, and yet it still imposes a sense of responsibility to know what is out there and to look at everything from a holistic view, because everything is interrelated on, on a grand scale, 
and that really um, it shows you that little things lead to bigger things. If you start small, you can do a lot of little things well, and you can make a big impact later on. It's very true. In order to apply for the Social Justice Advocacy Program, all you need to do is to go to the Stetson website, click on the tab that says Center for Excellence in Advocacy, and underneath that tab, there's a special tab that references social justice advocacy. Our application can be found there, and you can apply for the Social Justice Advocacy Program at any time after your first, sem after your first year, second semester. Um, we welcome students to come and talk with either myself or Professor Bob Bickle about the program and certainly any of the students who are in the program can give you lots of advice about um, how to apply for the program. Um, I just want to thank all of you for joining us here this morning and talking and informing the public about the Social Justice Advocacy Program. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.